If you think there's nothing to do in Newcastle and Lawrence County, then think again. Always stay connected to NCTV45 to receive the information on events going on in and around the area on a daily basis. Programs to view are News Watch, The Morning Show, and Community Happenings. NCTV45 takes pride in bringing you the event and organization info that you want. NCTV45 is the number one media source locally. NCTV45, anytime on your time. Broadcasting from the greatest castle in the world, in the county of Lawrence, NCTV 45. NCTV 45, Newcastle, the train. Everyone's talking about NCTV 45. Internet television the way you want it. Your number one media source serving Newcastle, Lawrence County, and globally. NCTV 45. Today's program furnished by funding from Bill's Big Shop, where smiles are everywhere. It's Chubby's. Let's pizza again, like we did way back when. Yes, Chubby's for that great pizza taste. They use Augustine's ingredients. And guess what? You folks on the east side, they deliver DA Reed Delivery Service. Go get your Chubby's pizza right to you. It's easy. Call ahead and place your order. It's Chubby's delivery right there for you. And don't think that they don't have cheese stuffed meatballs, sausage, and so much more. Chubby's right there for you. If you're craving hot dogs and more, and you're in the area, then look no farther than Kelly Island. Entrusting your loved one to a funeral director is a very personal and emotional decision. The funeral director you choose must understand the importance of the decision you have made. When you call the William and Roger DiCarbo Funeral Home, I recognize what a privilege it is to be chosen at your time of need. We will provide you and your family with the best service possible, with sincerity and compassion. The William and Roger DiCarbo Funeral Home, family owned and operated since 1941. Broadcasting from the greatest castle in the world, in the county of Lawrence, NCTV 45. NCTV 45, Newcastle, the train. Good morning, Newcastle, Elwood City, and all points that are here in this broadcast. Happy Friday, April 9th. It is absolutely gorgeous outside. We're looking at at a temperature that's going up when I first uh, got up and started rocking and rolling around, it was 60 degrees. And um, so weather, absolutely gorgeous. There you see the sun uh, coming up and the Scottish Rite Cathedral in the foreground. And there you go outside. A little wet last night, scattered showers about. And... Um, you're tuned in to Newswatch, and thanks for stopping on by. Now, um, a little great thing that we have for you today, and we're going to start off with this. Right there, 
Yes, Elwood City Wolverines. You're at our top of the list. Mayor Anthony Court presents a proclamation to the Elwood City Wolverine basketball team. The team captured the school's first WPIAL championship in school's history in the photo that you see. A.D. Court. Uh, Angel Listen, I'm Italian, and that's a really long name. Agostinelli and coaches Steve Antuano, Ricky Roth, Mayor Court stated congratulations goes to a great group of student athletes who accomplished so much. I know I speak for the entire community when I say you gentlemen have made us all so proud. Again, great job this year and God bless to all of you. Great job there, Wolverines. Way to go. We'll take it. And uh, congratulations from NCTV45 again. So um, that going out. Now, um, there's quite a bit to get to this morning. Um, you know, every day we have mass. It's on at 9 o'clock. Except when they change it at Len, then it was on at 12 o'clock. And, well, this from Pastor... Now, Father Joseph McCaffrey of Holy Spirit Parish. Do not reply to Pastor jo Joseph McCaffrey in the recent email uh, that you may receive this morning as it is phony. Father McCaffrey's email remains jmcgaffrey at holyspiritparish, lawrencecounty.org, hsplc.org. Email from any other address with the name should be deleted immediately. Thank you for your vigilance. So, um, somebody messing around with Father Mac. And um, I'm going to have a separate podcast, broadcast, whatever you want to call it. Whatever floats your boat on the Home Rule Charter. Yesterday, I previewed their open house. I went. I have all the right there. So uh, that will be coming to you later on today as uh, we get that information out to you. And um, it's important that you're informed. Now, last night at that broadcast uh, or, or at that meeting, and uh, I want to give you some information on who was there, what was going on, and uh, such like that. And we're going to jump on that this morning. So... Um, but, and I don't want to be remiss as I'm getting a little note in. Hey, where's the birthdays? Well, the birthdays are coming right to you. Here you go. Kelly Haney. Kelly More Peace Haney. Happy birthday. Rebecca Salas. Happy birthday. Jody Sager McHugh. Richard Show, Dave McGee, Stacy DeCristoforo, Anthony Respris, Maureen Maloney Palmer, Tony Mower, I, I, and I know who that is, um, Melissa Anslone, Barbara Davis Exposito. Happy birthday. Get that second piece of birthday cake. Celebrate all weekend long. And just have a smash bang good time. Now, there's so much good stuff going on. 
we have to like uncover all of it for you. And um, it, it, it's a, a little um, cumbersome to say the least, but we're getting there. So uh, now, as I wanted to tell you, and um, I, I'm getting these for you right now so that you could see what was going on last night at the confluence. And if you haven't stopped down to the confluence, make sure that you do because they got a lot of nice food. They have concerts down there. It's a great community place to gather right in the center of the county, in the center of the city, the confluence. You know, it gives you that opportunity to be just a little neighborly as you go through and your day. Now, here's what it looked like at the confluence and here's what they had. Um, I'm going to show you the first picture that's Marco Belisco here talking and explaining they had the display set up on Home Rule. We'll put that up there. Um, also, last night, and I, I want you to um, be aware that um, there were many people down there, including the mayor, okay, uh, as... Uh, he, uh, Chris Fry, uh, former uh, Mayor Anthony Mastrangelo was there. And uh, all concerned, and there is a great concern, about our fair city. Uh, and we should uh, really kind of be aware of that. And that's why I'm going to, in a separate podcast, put that out there. I'd like to give a special shout out to uh, Mayor Chris Fry and uh, thank him as we uh, sat and talked. But that gave you an idea. And there were people coming in and out the whole time. It was an open house. So... Uh, Information was, um, and and there was was a lot of information to disseminate. So uh, that's why I think it deserves a special all and unto itself. So I will do that. Uh, I put in our programming day the pre-message from Thursday concerning home rule. And then... I will put out the documentation and have a video on the documentation so it'll be explainable to you. It, it is a complicated situation. Uh, and from that, understand that uh, it just isn't easy. Uh, there are a lot of questions. You have to be an informed voter. So, uh, you know what's going on. And uh, speaking of voting, the 18th is the primary. So you have to be registered to vote by May 3rd. Think about that a second because that's important. It's the primary. If you're a Democrat, you vote in the Democratic primary. Republican, you vote in the primary for the Republicans. So uh, just keep that in mind. Now, boy, I, that there was a lot there. And we're not done. There's quite a bit more. And here you go. State news. The Department of Health, over 5.9 million vaccinations to date, First dose of the vaccination covered about 35.4% of the population, which ranks us 14th among the 50 states for the first dose of vaccinations. Now, uh, 
it was 12th, uh, okay. Uh, th on that part, I think they're doing an excellent job. New cases. 4,746 new cases. Of that, 2,425 patients hospitalized. So um, just doing the math, it gets you down to 2,300. And in intensive care, 4,000 or 484, which the numbers around stays around 2,000. Now, here's the deal with that. 67 counties, everything being based or the virus really being in the east where there's a larger population. So uh, keep that in mind when you look at that. Let's not fear the virus, but let's follow good hygiene and do the things we have to do to um, stay healthy. The Pittsburgh Post-Gazette, One Lens Pandemic, photo exhibit tells the story of how we prevailed. There are more than 1,300 photos. Well, you know, that's nice for the Pittsburgh Post-Gazette, but um, I think we know how we prevailed. And they're in a much different situation with a much higher population than us. Okay, and here we go. Governor Wolf, 2.2 million for community revitalization. Okay, and um, the project Tom Tom 24 development along the Boulevard of the Allies, Allegheny County gets half a million for that. Braddock Community Development. They got 400000 River District in Cambria County, they get 500000 Mercer, the Flats Center up in Mercer County, they got 400000 Docks Tri Trash House in Philadelphia, they got 400000 so, which brings the question to be said, and I, there were some individuals talking last night. We seem to be, I don't know, we didn't get the same money that other places got, and that's a question. But the governor of Philadelphia, as I affectionately call him, strikes again and uh be nice for somebody to congratulations to mercer county okay in allegheny county but be nice to get some for lawrence county i'm just saying here state of education secretary highlights t successful teacher vaccination initiative during the U.S. education tour, Pennsylvania's acting secretary, No. Ortega, joined U.S. Secretary of Education, Dr. Miguel Cardona, for the visit to Olenai Elementary School in Philadelphia and Beverly Hills Middle School in Upper Darby, Delaware. Never made it to our side of the state. It says, I'm proud of the work educators and communities continue to do to support our students across the Commonwealth. So um, that's what's going on there. You know, my, my comment there is, if you're in a bigger city, you have a lot more resources that you could use for the students. When you're out here, whether it's Mercer County, Lawrence County, Northern Butler County, the exposure isn't the same. We need that type of help 
and uh, sometimes they don't seem to get it. Human Services Secretary discusses the impact of federally funded food assistance during disaster emergency. Teresa Miller today discussed the life-sustaining benefits of the SNAP program, Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, and Food Assistance for Pennsylvanians under Governor's Disaster Emergency Declaration. Since March of 2020, Pennsylvanians have received about $100 million each month and more than a billion in federally funded SNAP funds. Uh, now, I'm telling you that some of the school districts uh, and this was announced on our other news watch will have an envelope go out it will have the student's name on it and there will be some uh, funding for when they weren't in school starting and covering from last September it's uh, scheduled out and they did not include it in this uh, press release. I'm looking. But we, if you watch Newswatch every day, uh, what you'll find is that we announced that schedule. And I want to say it was back in perhaps... February, the end of February, March, when they announced it. Uh, but be on the lookout for that. Very important. Now, uh, as we continue on with Newswatch, the Wolf Administration announces grant opportunities to provide recovery support services for communities. Eligible Items include delivery of recovery coaching through certified recovery specialists, telephonic supports, the provision of education and employment supports, engagement of GED services, additional life skills support groups, and substance-free substance social it doesn't say all explanations must be submitted via email. RA-DA grants management at PA.gov. And they have to be in by 12 p.m. Monday, May 3rd. Now, um, community is one of the four dimensions that is supported in life sustain in the support and sustained life in recovery. Uh, so that is being put out there by providing communities with additional support services. We can help individuals and their loved ones better suited for the recovery journey and ultimately live happy lives. So um, that money is out there and available and uh, state just made or put a release together on that. Now, uh, over to uh, labor and industry. Transition to new unemployment compensation system will begin in June. And, uh, a lot of people that were affected by this. The Department of Labor Industry, Jennifer Berner, announced that Pennsylvanians will have a much quicker, easier time filing claims for UC benefits when the department's new UC launches June 8th, 2021. The system will with modem software will replace the obsolete 40-year-old mainframe legacy system. 
Labor and Industry Secretary Barner will hold a virtual conference, and she'll be uh, talking about that. The programs that will transition, and if you're on this, to the new system, you see compensation. Pandemic Emergency Unemployment Compensation, P-E-U-C. Extended Benefits, E-B. Shared Work or Short-Time Compensation. And Trade Readjustment Allowances. So if you're on any of those systems, know that those will be transitioning over to uh, that new system that in June. Now, a couple notes for veterans before we uh, go to a break. And here you go. Uh, survey reveals occupational license licensing challenges for veterans and military spouses. Nearly uh, 60% of the respondents to the Department of State survey of veterans and military spouses with occupational license reported that they were able to find employment within three months of their transition to civilian life in Pennsylvania but they spent between $200 and $500 uh, for the initial license expenses in the Commonwealth. This year-long survey gives us valuable information how Pennsylvanians uh, and uh, compares to other states. Now, if you recall, and this was at the time of the pandemic when it was starting. And then into the summer, Governor Wolf streamlined the professional licensing that if you had license in another state, you didn't have to jump through all of the hoops that were required before cutting the red tape to put it through. They did a year long survey and it worked. So uh, for those of you wondering what that was about, you know, that's what it was about. And uh, just to give you um, some information there on that. Now, um, Secretary of Agriculture talks about the benefits of kennel inspections for quality dog breeders and consumers. Um, if you recall, and I'm not going to delve into that, but they're telling you is that they don't have a license, enough money for that type of program that they have out there. Now, just breaking, we're seeing Prince Philip, uh, of England. He dies at age 99. Prince Philip, the husband of Queen Elizabeth. Our prayers go out to the royal family. Now, um, with all that said, it's time to talk about sports. Second round of the Masters is beginning. And um, the Pittsburgh Pirates, they dropped a 4-2 decision last night to the Chicago Cubs. Well, there's a surprise. The Mets played the Marlins and won 3-2. Boston over Baltimore, 7-3. And uh, other baseball action in 11, 11 innings. 7-5, the Angels beat the Blue Jays. St. Louis, 3-1 over Milwaukee. Anytime Milwaukee loses, I feel great. Houston beats Oakland 6-2. And why that is, is the Pirates, they have such a time with Milwaukee. 
I just like seeing them lose. Let's go to the Cedar Sports Corner, find out what's going on, and uh, why. We'll be right back. It's fine. I'm Gary West, and whether you find Augustine's Pizza at your local grocery store, or the folks at Augustine's Pizza hope that their pizza is always your first choice for any and all occasions. The Cedars Restaurant in Newcastle wants you to indulge in the food from their pleasing menu. The Cedars features Mediterranean, pub food, Middle Eastern cuisine, and so much more. They're open every day, 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. Call the Cedars on the east side at 827 Addis Street, Newcastle, 724-658-9543. That's 724-658-9543. Hello and welcome to the Cedar Sports Corner and let's get to Major League Baseball. Pirates taking the day off. So that leaves Cleveland and the Indians. They're taking on the Detroit Tigers. Now uh, your New York teams, the Mets, have a travel day. And it's the New York Yankees at the Tampa Bay Bucks. Your nightcap, uh, and that that game is at 3 o'clock. The Cleveland game is at 7. The nightcap, 940, Cincinnati at Arizona. So um, that gives you some idea of what's going on in Major League Baseball. Now, over on the ice, your Friday looks like this. The Pittsburgh Penguins... Traveled to New Jersey to take on the Devils. That's 7 o'clock ESPN+. Plus. Battle in New York, the Rangers and the Islanders, 7 o'clock ESPN+. Plus. And over in the NBA. Here's what your Friday looks like. Two in, uh, games on NBA TV. Memphis, the Grizzlies at the New York Knicks, that at 7.30. And then the Washington Wizards at Golden State, that at 10 o'clock on NBA TV. So uh, a nice little go-around with sports. And uh, keep in mind that um, the Masters on this weekend so uh, that might be something you want to catch and this was the cedar sports corner we're going to take this time out hear from these great people who would like to hear from you This program furnished by Sporting Goods 23 East Washington Street Newcastle. Call 724-658-2535. Ali's Upper Crust at 1700 Island Avenue has a full menu. Pizza, roll-ups, salad, soup, sandwiches, strombolis, dinners. They are just great for dine-in or take-out. Don't forget to give them a call at 724-652-7553. It's Ali's Upper Crust. And, uh, well, it's Friday. I hope 
you're well. Everything's going excellent for you. And as we look out on the parking lot, you can see little glimmers of sun, little glimmers of cloudiness. And uh, just there's a look at the sky. You see some breaks. Uh, right now outside, uh, as I look, it says 58 degrees, 60 in some places. And right here, it's 45. NCTV 45 getting you what you need to know. Now, um, five ways to improve your financial capability. This uh, put out by the Department of Banking and Securities as uh, they've been, they, they provide these workshops and they've been virtual during the, the pandemic. Here's some five ways to brush up on your financial capability. Protect your personal and financial information. Don't put it out there willy-nilly on the... Know who you're talking to when you give out information. Keep a close eye on your credit report. Research and verify your financial professional before agreeing to work with the investment professional. Become a well-informed consumer and investor. Know the red flags of financial scams. Now that uh, by the PA Department of Banking and Securities um Give them a check. And uh, they have a lot of great information out there. So it'll be something that you need to know. Now, um, we're going to take a quick look and gander here at the AP. And these are some stories that um, we'll be crossing you today, your paths and everything that you go. Countries worldwide hit records for virus and case deaths. Private sales emerge as an obstacle to Senate action on guns. And uh, B Biden trying to uh, institute gun control, but those states have state rights to which Governor Wolf, who's a big Biden fan, uh, uh, he uh, is saying, oh, I applaud them. But he's the governor of Philadelphia. So he can't do anything unless the legislature passes a law. So um, that's an obstacle. That on the AP... Uh, the, the trial, an expert says the lack of oxygen, uh, was a problem with Floyd. I, well, yeah. <laughs> and how many of us will be left? Catholics, nuns face loss and pain as, uh, they go through that. This is all on the AP. A year after COVID-19, super spreaders, families find closure. So um, as you wander through the rest of the news that will be hitting you today, that will be it. You know, I told you about this, and a lot of people are like, oh, geez, I don't have anything to do. Really? Really? The mini masterpiece, April 17th, is the deadline to return your entry to the, the Hoyt as they do the mini masterpiece 
entries and um, we read the guidelines. You had to get a three by three canvas from them. April 17th, 4 p.m., no later for the entries to be in. And those mini masterpieces that they sent to us that we had out there for you last year or when they first announced the, the they were last year's entries that they show, we showed on Newswatch. If you missed that, that's why we're available anytime on your time. You can go back and take a look. I even had them on community happenings. So uh, that out there, and uh, it was was great. <sighs> you know, this is a good thing. I, I'm from Pennsylvania to Pennsylvania Avenue, PA Tourism launches the Biden Trail presidential road trip from Scranton to Philadelphia it visits 14 spots with a connection to America's first family. And uh, I understand that they're saying he was a kid from Scranton. Uh, what you probably don't know was Delaware was originally a part of Pennsylvania. And at the signing of the Constitution and that's when Delaware became their own state. So just a little like heads up there. Uh, so maybe you uh, wondered what the dividing line was that was the dividing line. So, um, okay, we got a Biden trail. Uh, the only other president from Pennsylvania was Buchanan. And really, Biden's from Delaware. But I guess we're claiming him. Pennies for our fountain. Central Park Renovation Project. Now, where's that going on? Greenville. Working with town leadership, the Greenville Chamber of Commerce is spearheading an initiative to give Central Park a facelift. The historic Central Park begins in 1868 with the land that was donated for the park purpose. Your donations will be used to rebuild the fountain and ranch, uh, benches and tables and repair the landscape. Uh, for all the work uh, the needed, our goal is there up there is to raise $75,000. Uh, you can call them 724-588. 7150 to get more information on their park project. Pennies for our fountain. And um, remember, it's the fifth annual Grapes and Growlers. From four to seven, it's $25 a ticket. That May uh, 15th. And uh, G other events going on. DJ's website um, for us, uh, they have a schedule of events. Greenville, let me try this again. Greenville's Girls Softball Steak Fry, May 1st, 4.30 at the Knights of Columbus. Tickets 30 per person. 50 per couple so uh, that'll be that information and uh, St. Michael's Shamrock Golf Scramble that's May 22nd at 8 so uh, an update for our friends up in Mercer County that um, are 
out there and doing things. And I suggest you get out and do the same. Now, uh, with that being said, temperature 58, 60 degrees, depending on where you're at. Humidity 72%. Winds are variable. Dew point 51 and uh, visibility is 10. And as you gander outside, this is what you'll see as you look at the sky. Breaks of blue, some clouds. Off to our north and west, I see a great deal of cloud cover. That's from our broadcast studio right here in the beautiful Majestic. Stop down and take a look. And uh, as you take a look out at the parking lot, you can see it looks a lot, little wet. Not real wet, but that's from last night's scattered showers. Let's go to Lawrence County 45 weather and see how today and your weekend is going to be. Easy clean car and van wash. Where your clean wash is our goal. The Crane Room is a restaurant. The Crane Room is a bar. The Crane Room is a banquet facility. The restaurant will please you time after time with their diverse menu. Ask about their daily specials. See the menu at craneroom.com. The bar gives you an abundance of choices with 35 beers on tap and always changing. Their banquet services are always to perfection. The Crane Room, located at 3009 Wilmington Road in the Shannon Township. Call 724-656-1553. GBG, Green Be Gone, Green Be Gone. Yes, Green Be Gone Pool Services. They are great. Angelo Parada here for Green Be Gone Water Cleaning. Look at this before and after. If your pool needs clean, it's Green Be Gone. They will help you get that sparkling crystal blue water that it just says summer and if your water is dark dingy they'll treat it and get those green algae out green be gone water cleaning yes pool water cleaners and their full service they'll get you looking like summer call them at 724-714-1023 SP. Big Shot Bobs are the wings for me. 50 flavors make it right you see. BSB has sandwiches you have to try. Stop in and you'll know why. Every day of the week you see. Call or stop in to BSB. Big Shot Bobs will be your favorite place. Just like me. Hello and welcome once again to Lawrence County 45 weather. And well, after last night's overnight low of 54 with the rain and storms about, how is your weekend and the start of your weekend starting to look? Well, here you can see as you go up from Florida, there is the precipitation that was so active but behind it we have clearing and some great opportunities if you would for some good weather now 
Things aren't going to be a washout, folks, but let's take a look. Last night, those showers and thunderstorms rolled through, and your Friday, partly sunny, a high of 76. Now, that's not to say there isn't that chance of rain, which is at 40%, but you don't get a washout. It'll be after 2 o'clock. Then, Friday night, partly cloudy, a low of 54. Chance of rain drops down to 30%. And sends you into sunny Saturday with a high of 78. We could touch 80 again on Saturday. Now, Saturday night, as you get after uh, 8 o'clock, mostly cloudy, a low of 54, and takes you into Sunday. Sunshine with a high of 66. Now, there is a 30% chance of rain. That goes away. You get to Sunday night, mostly cloudy, 48. Your Monday, sunshine again. Graces are presence with a high of 66. Monday night, mostly cloudy, a low of 47. And your Tuesday, sunshine in 63. Tuesday night, mostly cloudy, a low of 42. And your Wednesday, sunshine and 60. So, uh, folks, you're going to make it through the weekend. It's going to be just great. You're going to get a lot of sunshine. Now they have that outside opportunity for rain. It's there, but just know you're going to be enjoying it. And head over to BSBs. Maybe you want to get the car clean too. It easy clean car and van wash. And uh, think about getting that pool ready. Now this was... Lawrence County 45 weather. We're going to take a break and hear from these great people. And then we'll be right back with a whole lot more. dressings, apples, meats. This place looks so familiar. Everyone in Newcastle has to know about it. Yes, it reminds you of when you were growing up. Right in downtown Newcastle. Look at those fine lunch meats and ethnic foods. Yes, it's Joseph's. Hello, friends, and it's Los Amigos. Uh, let me tell you what, great food. Whether you get the chimichangas, enchiladas, tacos, whatever you get, you're going to love them. The nice, friendly atmosphere. Stop by. Tell them NCTV 45 sent you. It's Los Amigos sponsoring this program. <laughs>
Today's programming is brought to you by NCTV 45 and NC Radio 450, Newcastle's community television station. This program sponsored by Lombardo's Apothecary, located at 1230 South Mill Street on the south side of Newcastle. At our law firm, we see you. Come see us at lgkg.com. Well, we're back, and uh, that's going to do it for this edition of Newswatch this morning. Congratulations once again to the Elwood City Wolverines. Great job, guys. And uh, make sure as you go through your day that you tell a friend and have a friend tell a friend about NCTV 45. They'll be glad you did. And when they say that same old stuff, well, I don't watch a lot of TV. You tell them this. That's right, we're NCTV 45 The Train, and we're available anytime on your time. A train that runs on your schedule. That's NCTV 45. Now, keep in mind, we'll be putting that out for you. Uh, there'll be mass on. A lot of great programming right here on NCTV 45. So, uh, make sure you stay tuned. And make sure that you get that second cup of coffee and have a super day in what I call the greatest castle in the world, in the county of Lawrence. Have a great day, everybody. We'll see you again real soon.